Welcome back to another edition of KLHS. I'm Derek Carr. And I'm Dane Larson. We hope you're having a great week so far. We've got a great show for you in store today with an update and weather from Brett and sports update from Drew. All that and so much more coming up next. This is KLHS. LHS Chamber Orchestra will be performing on television from the Kauffman Center for their Performing Arts for KSHB TV Sound of the Season. Make sure to tune in on December 25th or the 26th for an unforgettable performance of Oh Holy Night and The Nutcracker. Air times are on channel 41 KSHB TV, 4 to 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. on December 20, 25th and on channel 38 from 7 to 9 a.m. also on December 25th and again on the 26th. And for delicious treats, in spirit of the holidays, the Practical Leadership class is hosting their annual Otis Spunkmeyer cookie sale this week during lunch. One cookie costs $1.25 and two cookies cost $2. The cookies come in a variety of flavors including M&M, triple chocolate chunk, and of course, chocolate chip. The sale will be located near the concession stand by the Little Theater. Join us for the November-December Design Challenge. Repurpose a plastic milk jug into something new. The options are limitless. Be creative and milk it. Visit the LMC website for more details. Attention, sen Attention seniors, please fill out the senior yearbook questionnaire that has been emailed to you by this Friday, December 11th, and you'll be featured in the 2016 yearbook. This is your chance to tell us what you've been involved in throughout high school, your after high school plans, and to nominate candidates for senior spotlight. Winter is fast approaching. Take the time now to get into the holiday spirit and participate in this week's Holiday Spirit Week, presented by the Practical Leadership Classes. Remember to wear your ugly sweater tomorrow and to participate in the, this week's Last Spirit Day. Liberty High School Concert Choir has advanced to the top four in the 99.7 The Point Holiday Choir Competition. The top four choirs, which include Gardner Egerton, Truman, Olathe Northwest, and Liberty, will be performing at the Linden Square in Gladstone this Saturday at 1 p.m. The winning choir will be announced after the concert at 2.30 p.m. and will be awarded with a $5,000 donation to their activity account. Please help us win by texting Blue J in all capital letters to 47183 to sway the judges in our favor. Choirs will be judged on the basis of their performance and the support of their school. Recently, the owner of Gel and Nail Spa, John Tran, donated to Liberty High School. Here we have Haina Lee and Isaac Gates with more. John Tran we is the owner of Jail Nails and Spa here on Liberty. Recently, John decided to donate $2,250 to Liberty High School. Over a two-week process, <laughs> John set aside money to use to donate. We sat down with John and asked him why he decided to donate to Liberty High School. I used to be located right behind Starbucks, which is in, pretty much in front of your school. I had a lot of clients who were students. 2014, I had so many girls come to me. Uh, unfortunately, um, but, you know, I'm happy for them that they've graduated and move on to something big, bigger and better. They supported me a lot. So I had to choose, you know, who do I give back to? You can, you won't, you can only help so much. I only can do so much. Um, to me, it's a large number, but to the school, I hope I, can, I made a difference. You guys can utilize that money in one way. This has been Hayden Ali and Isaac Gates reporting for KLHS TV News. Thanks, guys. On Wednesday, after fourth hour dismisses, all juniors and seniors will report to advisory. Freshmen and sophomores will report to lunch. When the bell for second lunch rings, we will have all freshmen and sophomores report to advisory and all juniors and seniors report to lunch. Here's some information about the early release Thursday and Friday during finals. Students are released to go home at 12.15 on Thursday and Friday. Parents do not have to call to dismiss a student at 12.15 on Thursday and Friday. If students would like to stay for lunch and then go home, they may do so. Students who would like to stay to study or would like to wait for the bus will report to the cafeteria on Thursday and the Little Theater on Friday. If a teacher would like a student to study with them, the teacher will need to write the student a specific pass in order for the student to release into another area of the school. 
Thanks, Dane. That was fantastic. Brett, how's the weather looking? Well, guys, the weather today is pretty nice. There will be a high of 64 and a low of 43. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 66 and a low of 48. On Saturday, there will be storms throughout the day and a high of 66 and a low of 54. That's all I have for you guys today. Back to the front desk. Thanks for that wonderful update in weather, Brett. And now we send it over to Mary Burns, Tess Hogan, Jesse Fulnwinder, and Chase Wrigley with a story. People celebrate the holidays in different ways, whether it be hanging up lights, bell ringing, or spending time with family. My whole family drives down to my grandma's house and we meet up there with my aunts, my uncles, and all my cousins. And there we just eat a bunch of food and just sit and talk. People get very excited due to music, joy, and spirit. I get super excited during the holiday season because I love all the music that, that gets played and everyone's just always really happy. The holidays bring everyone together through love and family. I think the holidays are special because it's a time whenever family comes in from all over the country and gets, all, gets together and they all celebrate and just make the most out of it. There's a lot of fun ways to get into the holiday spirit, from caroling to playing in the snow. I really like to go sledding with my little sister because I think it's good bonding time. We also like to make snow angels and build snowmen and stuff like that. For KLHS, this is Tess Hogan, Mary Burns, Chase Wrigley, and Jesse Fullenwider. Thanks, guys, and I can't wait to spend my holiday break with my, my cousin Dane right here. Thanks, Derek. That's always my favorite time of year. Now let's send over to Drew's Sports. What's up, Jays? In sports news, this Saturday, December 12th, the LHS Sapphires and Lakespur Dance and Choreography will be co-hosting the Kansas City Classic Dance Competition for area high school dance teams. Forty dance teams in the Metro will be performing throughout the day in the new Fieldhouse at Liberty High School. Solo duos and ensembles will run from 8 to 10 a.m. Team competitions will run from 10.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. The Varsity Sapphires will perform their jazz at 11.39 and Palm at 3.57. The Junior Varsity Sapphires will perform their Palm routine at 154 and jazz at 4 o'clock. There will be free admission for all LHS students, so come out and support your Liberty Sapphires. In other sports news, the Lady Jays basketball team defeated St. Pius in the semifinal round of the Liberty North Invitational 45-37 to last night. The championship for them will be this Friday at 7 p.m. against St. Joe Central. Good luck, ladies. The boys basketball team will play tonight against Leavenworth, so make sure you go out and support. But that's all we have for sports today. Now back to the front desk. Thanks, Drew. And that's all we have for today. We'll be back right back here tomorrow with more from Dane Larson, Brett Schweitzer, Drew Higgins, and all of our production crew. I'm Derek Carr. Have a great day.